Good morning. Today is May 6, 2019. Thank you for stopping in, guys. Today I just want to talk about a few things with eBay, about updating your listings. I also had written down here on my little note, well, notebook here. I keep a, just keep a notebook here because I'm always writing and jotting things down. What I want to talk about today is cross-selling and trying to move dead merchandise out or whatever or getting rid of it. But that's just part of it. But what I want to talk about is when you are updating an existing listing on your, you know, on eBay, okay? When you do that and you go to that listing after you open it up on eBay and you know what, it's got the little social media icons on there for Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Do you know that when you you know, do that there, update it, and you want to send it off to Twitter and those guys there, Facebook, it still shows up with the old listing. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but here's what happens, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through it. So if you could stick around and hang out, you'll see what I'm talking about. It, it'll help you out it's just as much as it helped me. I found out the hard way, and I had to take it out. or it had to delete the tweet and get rid of it all and delete it off of Facebook and Pinterest. Um, yeah, if you could stick around and watch, I'm going to do it verbatim. I'm going to show you. Uh, what happened with me um, because I believe in the cross-selling I believe in that wholeheartedly and I'm going to show you in Facebook first I'm going to show you my listings on eBay uh, and then what I did with the Facebook marketplace it seems to me in some cases if you have stagnant sales on eBay go to Facebook marketplace it's it's really good um, I had a last night um, I got I got I, I what happened was I listed a horse saddle and I'm going to show you I listed a horse saddle and two Coleman lamp, uh, one's a Coleman lamp and the other one is the, just a Coleman uh, top with the propane case in there. It's a propane gas tank, or whatever, Coleman propane tank gas, whatever it is, <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I listed them both on there, uh, all three of those things. I have other things listed as well. And it seems to me that where eBay was stagnant as far as like with those things there, I mean, because I had it for a while, uh, Facebook Marketplace, you know, fill that void so to speak so if I get a little confused or a little gyrated here it's because I'm kind of excited about it. I want to I want to share this stuff with you guys and I want to get it out there to you so you know so it's I think it's important and uh, I hope you guys will stick around to see me hear me out what I'm talking about so without further ado um, let's get right to it Okay, for all you eBay sellers out there, <laughs> this is it pertains to you. So watch, I'm going to show you. It's not going to work, right? For me, hey, that's usually what happens. You ever have a scenario like that? There, you want to prove a point to somebody and then find out later on it doesn't work, right? That's probably what's going to happen here. But if you could stick around, bear with me. All right, first off, uh, here you can see I only have the 21 active listings. I have a starter store for those who aren't familiar. I have a starter store which, which gives you for 4.95 a month if you pay, pay it throughout the year. It's 4.95 a month if you do it on a monthly basis. At 7.95, and they give you 100 free listings. Anything over 100 free listings uh, is 30 cents additional. But anyway, so as of now, uh, I have 21 listings, I believe, uh, on here right now that are active. Uh, as you can see here, uh, you could change these things up here if you want to see how many watches you have, the duration, you know, and the time left. I kept it like this because once this goes down to an hour. Uh, or whatever like this one's got 15 hours, but once these three go down to an hour uh, I'm going to remove them or actually four whatever. I'm going to remove them I'm going to end them because uh, if not with the new good to cancel policy It'll auto it'll, it'll auto renew and therefore I'll be tagging up big bills with the uh, eBay as far as uh, listing fees because believe me um, <laughs> You know now that they hit you with your with your starter store fee, you know uh, your Monthly subscription then they hit you with the insertion fees and every listing fees and next thing you know your fees become eBay becomes FeeBay instead of eBay, but anyway. So here's what happened. As a matter of fact, uh, I have this. I have on right now on Facebook Marketplace. This here sold. Now this person messaged me yeah, last night, I guess, and they want to know what it's going to cost to ship it out to uh, I think Connecticut. Uh, I'm going to get back to this person. I'm going to do this soon because he says it's respond. Uh, I got to let that person know that this is no longer available. Um, here you see some items I have listed here. Now, I tell you the truth, uh, you, you're better off going, in some cases, ex experiment, okay? Now here I have a Sony uh, DEG 360 uh, Sony Walkman. 
This was listed at $29.99. I brought it down to $24.99. Now, when you have sales, and especially if you know the product is a good product that it may sell and you're not getting too much traction on eBay, try it out on Facebook Marketplace, okay? Definitely. Uh, these are going to probably be the next ones that's going to be going up on Facebook Marketplace. This, the uh, Sony Player, the Microsoft Keyboard, and this one here. This one here is on there. I put this list uh, yesterday, the Vintage Coleman, and this here. Uh, this is going to be going up. I got three here right now. I got three people watching this here. As you notice, there's nobody watching them on, uh, on eBay. But this one here, I got a message this morning. The person's asking, is this still available? So I do like the Facebook Marketplace. And not like that, it's for free. Now, the lady came by this morning, and she picked up the, uh, where is it here? <laughs> she picked the saddle up this morning, paid me cash. Done deal. You know, she came by this morning. So that this is gone. This is gonna. I got his responses, but I'll do it after the video is over. Okay. Now, if you are cross-selling and you are on Bonanza, okay, Bonanza, depending how fast it updates, it will show an item that's still that, that's been sold active. Now you see here, this has been sold. All right. So what you got to do, and this is, I know I'm going a little off, but I, this is for people who do cross-selling on Bonanza. Because what could happen is, if this is still showing up active, uh, this person may buy it through Bonanza. And then you're going to have to sit there and, you know, explain to them, well, it's been sold on eBay, like, yada, 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 and so on and so forth. So what you got to do in a case like this here, just to really show you, and then I'm going to bump out of here really quick. This is just for the people who also cross-sell on Bonanza. What you're going to do is you're going to go over here and it says edit, view edit items, Okay. You go over here, you click this on, all right. What you want to do is get to that item as quick as you, well, it's not saying quick as you can, but, and delete it, delete that listing. Delete it. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have to explain to people, oh, it's sold and this, and you got to go through the whole rigmarole. Just, just get rid of it, okay? So if, if that is the case, and you could also update the boot as well, just in case there have been any changes. You could also do it a manual but uh, it's, in, in the meantime, I know you're saying, well, if you update it, then it'll automatically delete. In some cases, yes. In some cases, no. I've seen it both ways. But, yeah, you could click this here on and do update, and uh, it'll update. Your boot has been successfully updated and then searchable for buys in the next few hours. few hours. Okay? Remember that for a few hours. Okay. Enough with Bonanza. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I want to go here and use this as an example. Let's go to Manage. Okay? Let's scroll down to this. This here has been here for God knows how long. Look, eBay, this hasn't had any sales in the last 16 months. Okay, here's the thing. Now, I want to show you this here because I'm going to have to take this back off and change the whole thing around. This is going to have to be kind of a wash I'm gonna, because it's not going to work right. But when I spoke to eBay in regards to updating your listings, they go, oh, yeah, yeah, you could update your listings, no problem. But here is, there is a problem. At least for me, it is anyway, okay? So we're going to do this live. So I got two windows open. I got my, the window over here I got. Okay, let me close this one out. The window I got over here is the unsold. Okay, see those unsold? Okay, these are unsold, 86. Now, some of these are going to be up there, so if you are interested in any of these things here, they will probably be going up. Now, I want to put, let's say, this one here, the insignia. I don't think I have it on active. Let me see, make sure, because sometimes I have a, you got to be careful. You don't do two uh, things. You don't want to put the two sim listings up there. Okay. So what I want to do is, I don't have the insignia up there, so I want, to, I want to put that up there, but I want to use this existing one. Now, i got eight days left. You're probably saying, so why don't, if you got a free, 100 free listings, why don't you just use them? I want to use them sparingly, folks, okay? Uh, for those who don't know, I consider myself a frugal entrepreneur, and I try to do things in any, you know, the best way I can to save money and get more bang for the buck. All right, so now we have already established we're going to update the pendant now remember you see what it says here heart pendant bracelet with toggle clip okay we're going to click this on here so if you can stick around you'll see what i'm talking about folks you, you'll I, I think you'll be glad you did and what hopefully it'll work the way it worked for me all right all right so let's click on revise item all right now i know a lot of people may tend to sit different say i'm not going to go through this it's that's totally up to you i'm going to go back to my managed sold listings and i'm going to click over here and I'm going to copy and paste this here, like this. Whoops, let me try it again here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to rush this here. I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm sorry. And this happens. My computer acts up right now. Okay, copy it. Go back to the revised listing. You got to see this, folks, because it's kind of crazy the way it works. But people say, yeah, but if they click it on, they get, yeah, but they're not seeing the whole, they're not seeing it for its entirety. 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now the reason why I keep both windows open is because I want to copy and paste. Also, I want to make sure I'm putting this in the right category. Okay, so in some cases, it, it automatically will detect it. Don't ask me how. Okay, I guess the uh, algorithms pick up here, but you can see what happens here. <laughs> it automatically, but now I want to make sure I'm putting this in the right category. So let me see what I had here in regards to category. Where is it? Where are you, category? Oh my, my eyes are going cuckoo here. Okay, here you go. Um, hmm. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the uh, category here. Am I missing something here? <laughs> okay, here it is. <laughs> it's right up here, right? Okay. So what I'm looking for is consumer electronics, portable audio, uh, audio and headphones, personal CD plays. This is what I want. So I'm going to go back to this one here. Remember this. Now I'm in the active listings right now. Okay. So this is the one I want. Now. Like she said, the lady said, uh, you can change it. But here's the problem. Yeah, you could change on eBay, but it doesn't show up properly. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so um, everything I'm going to leave like that. You're going to delete this. I'm going to leave this as a nice condition or whatever. Or I could just change it up and say a nice plain condition. I don't know. Whatever. Right now, I'll leave it like that for all intents and purposes. We're going to get rid of the photos. Okay. Now, I got to go to my photo file. Okay. And we don't want this particular one. I got to back out of here, guys. Let me back out. Um, let me go over here. I got all these different ones here. Let me see here. Um, bear with me because I don't know where it left it. It might be in this one here. I don't know. Nope. Wrong one. Okay. Should have had this planned ahead of time. Sorry, guys. I do apologize. I do apologize. This, yeah, that's all already. I got to take that out. I got to delete that. Uh, let's see here. Is it in this one here, the insignia? Nope. All right, let's see one more time. Nope, that's the cure. That's still available. Yeah, what happens, folks, is when I when I sell these items, then I, I delete them out. Okay, this is it. I think this is the, it, this is the insignia. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, get some pictures in here. All right, and I want to get the you know, ones that are good here, some are dark, whatever. Uh, the instructions I want, I could always lighten these up. And I think with eBay, you're allowed to do 12. So let's see what we got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, let's see here. Now, I guess we really don't need too, many, uh, too much more. I think that would be good. All right. Sometimes you're going to have it, sometimes you're not. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got pictures up there. I know they say add up to four more photos, but it, this is it. You know, I'm not going to go crazy with it. And again, you're going to mix and move pictures around. If you don't want this one up here, you could always get the other one. I'm looking for the picture... That has everything with it. I believe this is it. Uh, let me see. Let me just see one last thing. I think there is one where I have with everything there. I think it's this one. Yeah. Oh, that one did too. All right. It doesn't matter. All right. Let's leave it the way it is. Okay. So let me leave this here like this. I'll switch this guy over. So when people see it, this is what they're going to get. All right. So now they also tell you here that we recommend you any specifics. So you add, except all, whatever. Um, make sure you got everything there. Uh, again, I got to put the model number in there. Uh, yeah, this one here. Like that. Copy. And where am I? Put the model in here. I try to save time as best I can. And this is uh, silver. Do I have silver here? No. You could always add your own color to it, whatever. Um, and yeah, as far as age group. You could put, you could click here, teens, adults, whatever, and here you could just put the uh, silver, like that. All right, manufacturer color. That's the same thing here. Custom bundle, um, because it's used. I don't know if there's other things. I'm gonna put. I know it says yeah. You know, I know I have it with the earbuds, but I'm gonna put no for now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave this here like this. This here, when I, whenever I have to take this stuff out, uh, I have to what do you call it there? I gotta go into the HTML. This is how I do it, folks. And I select all, and I delete, and I go back to standard, and then I go back to this one here, and let's see if I could do this here. Actually, all right, here's what I got to do with this here, uh, because I changed things around. I changed my uh, my banner, you know, my description thing around. I got to click on here. I do this here through Microsoft Front Page Express. This uh, yeah, Front Page 2002. So I put over here U.S. Online Seller. You know how to do what I do. It's just it's just I just do that there. You know. And this is my template I use. So what I'm going to do now is I know it's a lot of going back and forth, but 
I mean, I wouldn't, if you're doing hundreds of these here, then by all means, don't bother. You might just want to say, I'm not going through this here. I'm going to just list it and that's it. I'm not going to, I'll just relist the thing. Oh, I don't want that one there. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click this on here. I dropped it in. Yeah, the wearing is too big. I don't want it that big. I don't know why it got that big here. Let's see. Can I move this down here? Uh, 10 point. Let's see. It's usually 12. 12 usually gets it small. Let's see. Hold on here, folks. Yeah, that happens every now and then when you're doing it this way. Okay. Well, no, too, I think it's usually 14 point. Okay. That's it. That's usually the normal uh, thing right here. Okay. Uh, manuals. Okay. That's the uh, website. Okay, I can't keep back the hyperlinks on it because you know what will happen. Uh, it'll pick up uh, eBay's algorithm, pick it up, and I'll get, uh, they'll, they'll get, send me an active content message. Okay, so we don't need all of this here. We don't need twice. Let's get rid of that. Leave that there. All right. Okay, now what I got to do is now, what I, now that I did that, I hope I don't mess up on this here. <laughs> okay, so I already copy and paste this here. Um, the information. All you need over here, I think it's two pounds, if I'm not mistaken, on here. And I just want to see what I have it listed for, $14.99. Okay, so $14.99. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, um, so I know it's two pounds. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to close this window out because I don't need this anymore. We're going to go back over here. And let me go back to front page. This, copy. Move this guy down. Paste it. Okay. Let's see, it shows up, make sure it's correct, everything's good, blah, 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 all right. All right, so that's good. So the little particulars, I'll always go back. I don't, like I said, again, I'm not, I don't want to take too much of your time because I know sometimes, you know, doing these tutorial type of things or showing you things, it goes a lot longer than expected. I do apologize. All right, so I, we put, what, for $14.99, I think it was, $14.99 uh, with the best offer. Okay, good till canceled. Now, you notice it's grayed out because you can't change this, all right? They did away with that. There. You know that. Fixed pricing, I don't think, let's see, can you do that? And you can't, that's grayed out too because it's an active listing. Okay. See, this is what I'm trying to say. eBay will allow you to uh, do that, but at the same time, actually, I could probably keep it flat cost the same uh, all buys. I don't think it's more than that, is it? Mm. Let me change this. I want to change this around, calculate by buys, because for the simple reason is every time I think I'm going to have that there, and now you add anything over two pounds, you can't use first class postage. You got to go post, post, select. Okay. Um, so now I got to go over here, put the custom weight in. You're going to do that. All right, one to two pounds, because you got to figure packaging too. All right. So now, uh, as you can see, there's zero fees because it's an active listing, right? All right. Now it's an active listing. Um, I just want to make sure go over. I want to make sure that I don't have international shipping, U.S. parcel, because sometimes you will get an error, and sometimes you will get errors in here, uh, even though you do update. They'll still re well, they remind the errors too. Okay, so now everything looks copacetic here. Let's click update listing. All right. Now, once we get the update listing, okay, strong languages here, conflicts. All right, here's this here. It appears that you described the refurbished. I, oh, refurbished. Uh, this, sometimes these things happen here, okay? Let's see what this says here. Uh, you may be using language in your title with the content of your listing. It appears you have described an item refurbished but included the words new. Okay, so let's go back to listing here. I don't know what I mean by new. Maybe, I don't know where that came into the picture. Maybe because I didn't have it, I had it in here. Let's see, well, that's strange. <laughs> I don't know where that came into play. All right, let's see what caused that there. Let's click this on. Um, yeah, well, I got the, no, I put the word new earphones. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know. See, eBay is a little discombobulated with the way they have, with the way they do things. Okay, now here's the thing I want to talk about. Let's see um, with this particular listing. Now, it's not going to show up here first. You've got to always go back and say, I'm done, so it recal redirects. Okay, now. I'm going to go back over here to my listing. <clears throat> this is interesting if it works the way I think it's going to work. Okay. Now, I have eight days left on it. It's a revised listing. Now, watch what happens when you go here now. Now, you see over here, where is it? Right here. See the top? Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Now, eBay puts that there so you can cross-reference. You can cross-sell. So, watch what happens when I go to Facebook. I'm going to click it on. Okay. Mike, all right, waiting. It's over here waiting. I'm sorry, folks. All right. Now, you see what pops up? Heart pendant 
with toggle clasp. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to post it because this is what's going to come up. Now, the irony of it all is when you click it on, it will bring it to this. Okay? Now, I'm not going to click it on because I'm only going to be deleting it. Now, watch when I go to Twitter. <clears throat> Twitter, uh, you see what it says? All right, now this shows you. It says, oh, look, this is what you're putting here, right? Now, you're thinking it's normal, right? Look at this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to tweet it, but I got to delete it right away because the people on Twitter are going to think I'm crazy. Now, I'm going to put it on Twitter, and I'm going to go. I'm in my Twitter account now. I'm going to refresh it. Check this out, guys. Let's see. Well, give me a little second. My computer's not the fist, so bear with me, guys. You see what happens? Look. You see? You see what happens? <laughs> and if you click it on, people say, yeah, but it takes you. It's, it's deceptive, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, see what I'm saying? And this is done live, okay? This is no smoke and mirrors. You guys, I'm sharing this with you because you might be thinking, oh, I'm doing it right. Everything's going to work. It doesn't work. This is live. This is live, folks. Make sure you delete it or else people think you're crazy. <laughs> they say, is this guy person? They're talking about, they're talking about, what do you call it there? Uh, you know, you know, eBay as far as like selling stuff on here. In the meantime, the guy's got this going on, you know? So be careful uh, when it comes to things like that, okay? Um, that's what I'm trying to say. And the same thing will apply. Let's go back here again. Where is it? With Pinterest, okay? So now you're probably saying, okay, so what are you going to do right now? Um, I'm going to probably have to, you know, add to it. If you save it, let's say I save it. I got a, quite a few here. Save it. This is what it's saving it as, as a pendant. Okay, folks, I'm going to, you know, I don't want to expand too, too much on it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some updating. I got to go. And also, I just want to show you one last thing here. Facebook Marketplace. Okay, this sold. I got to mark. I see as I got to do it right now. Mark as sold. Yay. Yes, I sold it on Facebook. All right. So, uh, yeah, so that's good. This one here, the person is asking if it's still available, so I'm waiting to get a response from that person. And these are the other ones I have listed here, and I will be putting more up here, okay? Um, definitely, let me close this out, okay? I just want to share that with you. I'm going to close it because I have to go back and answer questions and stuff like that, so let me close this window out. Well, that concludes this video, folks. I hope you got a takeaway from it. I hope it helped in some way. All I want to say in closing is if you are cross-selling, uh, make sure you update your listings and respond to any questions you have. Check out Facebook Marketplace. And the other thing I wanted to say is um, when it comes to revising existing listings on eBay, keep that in mind, folks, that if you do that, you're seeing it. It, worked. it happened with me. I did a live video, so uh, be careful with that because, like I said again, as far as I know, I think on eBay, because I think people may question, well, what about eBay? Does eBay keep it like that? You know something? I have to say one thing. I just, I definitely want to share this with you guys before I do close out. I think because of that, eBay still keeps it like that. In other words, I think a person will still see it and search, but when you get a response to offer, unless the eBay changed it, it still will show that old existing listing. For example, I did that insignia uh, player, right? CD player. If someone's going to respond to it, <laughs> this is how it worked once before. I have to share this with you before I close this out. It did come up like that, and I'm saying, wait a minute. That's the stereo, or whatever it was at the time, that electronic thing. I said, how come it's going like this? And when I clicked it on, it was the new listing I updated, I know it sounds crazy, on the existing. In other words, the, the existing listing I had, I updated with the new, right, what I just did now. And when a person responded to it on eBay, it showed the old existing listing. You see what I'm saying? Do you follow? It's just like I said, um, when, you went, when I went to Facebook, it showed the pendant, right? But if you click it on, it'll take you to the stereo, the CD player. So be careful when it comes to that, okay, guys? That's all I'm saying. Just be careful. You see what I'm talking about. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out like I did. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to share that with you guys. But yeah, just make sure you, you know, make sure you keep uh, you keep on top of that there because you know you don't want to you know have any discrepancies with your buyers and so on. Um, I do hope again this information helps. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And um, 
hit that bell notification icon if you want to be updated. And I just want to say this is a very diversified channel, folks. So uh, it's not, I don't focus on one particular thing. I do talk about other topics as well. Outside, outside of doing the reselling news, I do talk about other things. So uh, if you look at my videos, if you scroll to, I'm not saying go look at all eight, I mean, almost 900. I'm like, this may be close to 900. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying to go look at all, but you might pick a topic or something. You might want to see a video I did in the past and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. But anyway, I just want to say also, it's such a nice sunny day. I'm over here in New York on uh, Long Island. The, um, I'm on an island, so to speak, in Long Island, New York. And uh, it's such a nice thing to see the sun. It's like that music there, Morning Mood. You ever hear that song, Morning Mood, so, Morning Mood song? And it makes you feel so refreshed and revived and stuff like that. I feel rejuvenated. You know, even a newsman said this morning, um, he goes, what's that shiny thing in the sky? Because for the past couple of days, uh, we've been having nothing but rain and gloomy weather, overcast. I don't know, it's bizarre weather, you know? But um, it's so nice to see the sun. I, just, I feel so alive, <laughs> you know? And then, uh, in regards to, like I said, with that sale I made from the, um, the sale, you know, for the uh, saddle, it was so nice to get rid of that thing there as well. But definitely check out Facebook Marketplace and remember what I talked about, about the cross selling thing and your existing listings. Keep that in mind, okay, guys? Because, like I said, as you can see it on those three social media platforms, it, it's not going to show up right, okay? Anyway, I'll let you go. Enjoy the day, guys. Until next time, Rich Bassini signing off. Bye bye now.